Eventually, Paul and his Kenworth T909 made it back onto the bitumen road. There'd been plenty of spring rain this year, and the feed along the side of the road was thick. This year's harvest had produced another bumper crop, and the nearby silos were overflowing with grain. Meantime, Paul pressed onward. Then up around another corner, he headed across the road so he could swing into the farm's driveway. After the gates were duly opened, Paul headed up the driveway. All the while, the big Cummins under the hood stirred up the dust. Near the end of the driveway, he brought the Kenworth T909 to a gentle stop and dropped the rear trailer's ramp, and the sheep steadily ran out of the trailer. Judging by the way the sheep skipped and jumped into their new paddock, they were more than content with their new home. With everyone pitching in to lift the ramp, it made light work of the job. And in no time at all, Paul was heading out of the farm. And we asked Paul where he purchased his Kenworth. I bought the truck through Inland Truck Centres in Dubbo. I found Mick Miranda good to deal with, selling the truck, specking the truck up for me. And a few little issues of it I've had to get fixed. Michael Mackey's been sure to fix it for me straight away. An hour or so later, and Paul was pulling back into his driveway. Another load of sheep successfully delivered. Paul told us that he has a B-double lead trailer that he uses when he travels further south, where he can't take the road train. He also connects up the B-double with the road train dolly and trailer when he heads further north, where triple road trains are allowed to run. That's the advantage of the Kenworth T909, Paul told us, because it gives him plenty of flexibility with his combinations. And that's where we have to leave Paul and his immaculate T909 Kenworth because we're heading up to Corumba in the Gulf Country to join Richard Philp and his triple road train. <laughs>